Okinawa again, again, and we're with Jason again. Hey, uh, buddy, what's up? Not much, man. Nice. So uh, Okinawa is now my home away from home. Uh, third time in a month, I've now been here for a random weekend. I was playing spontaneous things. It's also not really that spontaneous, but um, we're gonna go check out some more abandoned cars today, right? Oh yeah, we got oh, yeah. Uh, some good things in store. So yeah, it's gonna be awesome. The weather's perfect for checking out abandoned cars. I swear, every time we film an abandoned car video, it's like overcast and rainy and wet. So. It just adds to the, uh, the, the drama. The drama effect. So, we're gonna go check out some more cars here in Okinawa, and hopefully they're not too bad and they're not gonna break our hearts, but it always reminds me of that meme where like girls like guys don't ever cry or anything like that, and guys are like, perfect example of what makes grown men cry. But anyways, I digress. We're back in Okinawa. Yes, we are gonna be doing some S15 stuff. That will come later, but for now, let's go check out some more abandoned cars. So we are literally just by a main road here somewhere in Okinawa and there's this chaser here which is breaking my heart to be honest. I love a good hakuche. Yeah. Um, and it's got the, I think they're the Koki tail lights. I don't think this thing's been driven in a very long, long time. You've got flat tires, dry rotted tires, vines growing through them and just everywhere I look at this is, you know, telltales that this thing hasn't been driven in a long time. Um, like the dry rot and all the sidewalls here. Look at how corroded and messed up the brake rotors and calipers are. Like it's, yeah. You can really tell looking on the interior by the sun damage on the dash. And this looks like an auto that was swapped to manual. You got seat, rust coming through here as well. Yeah, it does. It's got TRD some- TRD steering wheel. Yeah, it's got some interesting stuff in it for sure. Um, I mean, you can see like all the mildew and you know, algae and stuff growing on the intercooler there as well. This thing sat here for a very long time. There's no like shuck in stickers or anything. Underground riders, shakes, shakes, customs. Like, I don't know if anyone knows whose car this is. This just, like, I would love this for like an Okinawa missile or something, come out here more, do some driving and stuff, would be awesome. Like there's even stickers like this here, see? There's absolutely no excuse for the way I'm about to act. Like. I'd like to think someone who speaks English or like a foreigner probably owned this, but I don't know. It's kind of sad. This has got some good drivetrain stuff in it, you know, and let's have a look. Is it is it rusty under there? I mean, it doesn't look that bad. It's sitting on concrete, so probably not too bad. Honestly, I, I kind of want to camp it out here because, you know, there's an RX-8 Spirit R here and that's parked really close to it. It looks like this gets driven, so maybe the guy who owns this owns this or knows who owns it but I don't know. It was really sad. So, 
Yeah, that's the first car, I guess, for today's uh, adventure. I can't believe the vines are growing from oh. down there in the jungle, right? And they managed to come all the way down here. And oh, yeah, the vines are from all the way over there to here. Look, sticking out right here. Yeah, nature's amazing, it truly is. And Jumanji, man. It's yeah, be for taken real. Over, taken over by vines here. No Probably time. Oh, look, ocean. Yeah, and the ocean's right there. So. Yeah, I don't know, we might hang around here for a little bit and just see if anyone comes out, but kind of sad such a good car especially for like a missile it'd be perfect especially for here in Okinawa all right I guess on to the next abandoned on car next one, yeah. let's go and the thing is I didn't even plan on this one no we just found this one yeah, yeah this one's right off the side of the road so. yeah all right well let's see what else we can find today So we're now at our second location for today. And man, this is this is kind of cool. So we've got like an old Toyota. We've got an old Datsun. Like, I don't even know what these are. There's a Datsun Custom, I think the badge says. Like, I thought it was a, a Sunny at first when we drove past it on the street, but it's a lot longer than what a Sunny is. Very cool. I'm not sure why there's like a, a scythe on the hood there, but. And then there's this thing, like, what on earth is that? It's like a Daihatsu mirror that's been turned into a milk truck or something. <laughs> like, really cool. Crazy to see something like this out here too. What is this? Super Sprinter. Oh, that's cool. Old Sprinter Deluxe. Definitely all rusted out. And then it looks like there's some more stuff around the front here. Let's have a look. There's a lot here to take in right now. So I guess this is some old Cadillac. I don't know my American cars much. I'll ask the American, is that a Cadillac? It is a Cadillac. It is? This thing's an 800 series plate. That is a boat. Yeah, that thing must cost so much in road tax. And then like abandoned old like Kaido Racer, Bosazoku kind of style car with a shark nose. That's cool. Some other old cars in it. Whoa, man. These things are in the bushes. There's something else over here too. And that rain is starting to pick Oof. up. Chaser. No. Yes. Yo. Is that a 180SX too? Oh. Dude, this sucks. This hurts my soul so much. Seeing a chaser like this here as well. It's got some work done to it. You can see it's Oh man. That helmet inside. That's so sad. Probably definitely drifted this. Yo, that 180SX there has been there for a long time. Wow. That's crazy. Look at the vines growing on this one. Yeah. yeah. I like how they're just like... Everywhere in there. There's even like a snail on this right here. I don't even know what to say about that. That's so upsetting. The 180SX2 is just... That's depressing. In the trees, the like. Owner of this 180, though, 15, 000, I know what I got. Yeah, the front end looks like it's crashed and held together with rope. Man, that's insane. That's so depressing. Are the S chassis guys out there, like. Yeah. 20K, I know what I got. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On the Facebook page, 20k, I know what I got. <laughs> don't don't waste my time. <laughs> <laughs> no tire kickers, no low yeah. <laughs> So true. Oh man. Dude, we haven't even been like driving around for longer than like maybe 30 minutes to an hour and, it's, and we've already found this. This is crazy that all of this is just chilling in Okinawa. So depressing. And you can't do anything about it. Like, it's just what it is. Everybody's gonna ask, hey, how do we get this car? Yeah. I wanna buy it. Like, they're gonna fix it one day. That's the excuse. That's what they say. Yeah. Or they wanna sell it, yeah. Just waiting for the time. I mean, it's kind of like an investment though, if you think about it. Cause I mean, this car was probably worth nothing. It's now kind of worth something now, worth yeah, like something. a couple grand or something you get for it, even in its current condition. Maybe even harder for somebody to let go of something like that. Yeah. You know, everything slowly going up. So. For sure. It's unfortunate. It really does kind of break my heart to see stuff like this, really. Like, like I get that, you know, something may be wrong with the cars or, you know, whoever bought them at some point just left them here because they got uninterested in the sport and stuff. But, like, just to see stuff sitting that someone else could use to you know build their dream car or, or, or you know use for themselves you know as they say one man's trash is like another man's treasure right and it just feels like i don't know it feels wrong 
I mean, I definitely know like I could use something with the drivetrain in any of those cars there, especially like that 180 or the uh, Chaser for sure. And we're back on the main road driving past those cars again. It's crazy that we're literally just driving down a main road and we're finding all of this stuff. So we need to be blowing. finding is a gas station right now. Yeah, we do need gas. Because <laughs> uh, the, the, the cord. And the ABS light came out I mean, again. dude, it's not a Honda if it doesn't have some kind of broken Whoa. lights on. Whoa, coming from the Nissan guy. I shut up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much everywhere you look in Okinawa, I guess if you're a car lover, like there's something to look at just keep your head on a swivel yeah and find pretty something. much if you're zoned out just driving point a to point b you're not gonna you're, you're not gonna, gonna miss anything yeah we're at uh stop number three now i think and we are literally right by the ocean once again and i think we just found another abandoned like s chassis in the middle of a field up here over here you've got some old honda i think there and a bunch of other k cars and then right here behind me just a random 180SX. It's so crazy. Stuff like this is just all over the island. Wow. So mind-blowing. This thing's been here a long time. Everything's all rusting out. So crazy. Looks like it's got Z32 brakes on the back. Oh, it's a Sil 80. Sil 80. Sylvia front end. Wow. Yeah, Z32 brakes on the front. This thing's been here a long time. That's crazy. It's insane that stuff like this is just everywhere on the island and fields like this. Mind blowing. Like, this is just like farmland. So crazy. So rusted out. Yeah. So sad, man. But there you go, this is this is Japan in a nutshell right here. Having a little look through the hood here. You can see it's got like a HKS pod filter and yeah, front mount intercooler. It. Yeah, it's got some work done to it. Aftermarket wheels. Yeah. Integrated blinkers. Yo, interior. Look at that Yo, massive e-brake in there. Look at the, J, the JCI on it, the Heisei 31. So that was 2000. That's not that long ago. 2019. Yeah, that's like three, four years ago. Yeah. Hasn't been too long. Yeah, you can really tell though, like looking at the rotors, it doesn't look like it was that long ago it was driven, to be honest. I'd say that just, like, and you can see that people have like put, oh, like that's that's literally JB Weld. Patched up that rust spot right there. JB welded up. I'd say this is definitely like a beater for someone, you know? It's only been here for a few years. Last had a registration like two, three years ago, so. Yeah, I know. It's got some nice drifting. stuff on there. Yeah, I got a taste of drifting the other day, and uh, I will say the 180 that I rode in was a bit of a hoot, man. Yeah? Yeah. Definitely. Uh, it's It's been in a few little bingles by the looks of it, but... Standard. For the most part, this is still pretty good for a good driver. Sad to see, though, just sitting here. And hasn't been driven in a long... Like, like what, three years or so? SA31, yep. so three, four in, years. Uh, four right now. Yeah. So yeah, about three, four years. Yeah. Sucks. Well. I got more for you, man. Don't worry. You got more? There's I, even more than this? I got more. I oh got more. man, this is, this is hurting this me. This is random. This was, uh, this was yeah, just us literally just seeing it as we drove past once again. It's crazy that this, we just keep finding this stuff. Man. I just crossed the road here to just have a look how close it really is to the ocean here. And uh, yep, that's not even like, I don't know, 20 meters away from the ocean. That's crazy. It's kind of cool to think about, like having a house like there as well, like yeah. so close to this is pretty cool. I mean, it's not the nicest beach in the world, but- uh, It's a beach it's some still. Real estate. It's yeah, a beach. definitely. All right, and this is gonna be our last stop for today. There's plenty more, but- Saving the last. Running out of daylight right till, now. Yeah, we are literally running out of daylight. Wow. These 180s, man, they've been here for a while. Far out. It's so crazy that you can just find like, literally like just these lots, random lots, just packed full of cars like this here. Look at this Stasia, oh, this hybrid Civic, another 180. What? That's, that's insane. I have never seen. Dude, the interior light is accessible to change the bulb from the top. I have never seen that. 
There's a um, whole bunch of moss and just dirt in the back there. That's crazy, man. All right. And then what we got here, like an AE-111 or something? Yeah, or what, 11? Crazy. Are these still 11s or true I think so, yeah. I think they're 11. I like the check the flag on the side. Yeah. Dude, that's crazy, man. Like, this stuff is just all sitting here like this. And it's just literally by this main road here on the side of the beach, so. I mean, if these cars sit here long enough, they'll all look like this because, I mean, when typhoon season rolls in, all the salt water gets picked up by the wind and just gets dumped on all of this. That's probably why this is rusted so bad on the roof and stuff. It, all the salt just sat on there. Like, it's crazy. Like, there's some good parts in there, like the center console, the shift knob. It's got a drift button, of course. Wheels? Yeah, it's got some old SSRs on there. It's crazy. And, like, look at this hole here, like, straight through the door into the interior. Like... There's so much water and stuff has been sitting on these seats in there. I'd love to see a video of someone like cleaning that interior, but like it's, it's gone. It's really gone. I don't know what CD that is, but you know, it's just crazy to see this. Like the trunk is so rusted out too. Let's go look at these other 180s up here. Yeah, these aren't in any better condition too. Where the hinge is, is just completely falling apart in the roof there. Man, I had never seen anything like that before. Like, there's rust, and then there's Okinawa rust. That's, like, this is an entirely different level. Whoa! I've never seen the front, like, members like that just rust and fall apart like that. That's so crazy to me to see. This one seems to be in the best shape. I mean, if you can really call it that. They've all been in accidents. That's a cool Apexi um, uh, front mount intercooler kit. So these are kind of, you can't find these anymore. No one, no one like sells them brand new. But this uses the same side mount, um, like piping location and holes. You don't have to cut out anything in the 180, like make any holes and you could run the piping across have it connect like that. Actually, a lot of people still want these because, uh, uh, you know, they get a really clean 180 and they don't want to chop it up. They want to keep its value, but they want a front mount. Not the most efficient front mount in the world, but very, very cool. Jeez, like just rust through the fender like that is just, it's so crazy. There's an R33 Skyline headlight in there. See a whole bunch of rust under the mirror in there. The whole thing's coming apart. It's so mind-blowing to me to see this kind of stuff. Look at all the rust that's fallen on the glass in there. Once again, just that hinge section there, and it's just gone. It's like an ECU in there. Some fuel injectors. Yo, a digital S13 um, center, like cluster. There's a rear Hikus. It's like R33 four-door tail lamps. There's so many pots in this. And I guess this is the tail lamp that's just fallen out of here. <laughs> I guess it just rusted itself out. I'm going to see if we can just, you know, sit that back in there. There we go. Doing this 180SX some service and just sitting that tail lamp back in there. What is like this badge? Like a spiller? A spiller? I, I don't know what that is. I've never seen that brand or name before. This thing's got some interesting stickers on this. A Blitz one, a Turbo one. The rust on this is kind of crazy too. The trunk is just... Like, I've seen trunks get rust holes in 180s, but nothing like this. This is just a whole nother level. Once again, in that hatch kind of, you know, hinge location, it's kind of crazy. This one's got a cage. Bunch of parts in there once again, side skirts, aircon condenser and stuff, but some nice wheels. Man. Mark X. It's a Delica. Yo, is that an EK9 Civic? Shut up. Yo, I think it's an EK4, I don't think it's an EK9. Still EK Civic? That's cool. Man. It's crazy to see that. And then just like a bunch of regular kind of K cars and generic cars that you see out here. 
think in Australia, these are called Taragos, but over here they're called Estimas. Crazy. I just came back to this 180SX because I noticed that this front bumper, I think this is that pig nose one with the two inserts here. This is kind of rare if I'm not mistaken. Uh, this is actually one of my favorite bumpers for the 180SX. I know a lot of people didn't actually like these too much, but I really like them with the two like inserts there for vents for the cooling. It was very, very cool and you don't see them that often. They're kind of rare to find these days. Still blows my mind the more and more I look at this, I see even more rust. Like this whole door is so rusted out that the only thing here is that's the paint. There's no metal on the other side of that. It's all rusted gone. So crazy. And then I didn't even notice before, but this whole trunk section here is completely gone. Absolutely mind-blowing. Like, how can anyone just let a car sit like that and get that bad? I just, I don't get it. There's so much, like, before this car got so bad, like, you know, there's just so much on this car that could have been used for something, you know? There's still so much on this car that can be used for people, you know, looking, like, even the rear glass is usable, you know? That's hard to find these days for these things. Like, there's just so much parts on these three 180SXs that people could use. And it, it, it hurts me to see it like this. What do you guys think? I'm genuinely interested. Any of the cars today, would you save them? You know, is it is it worth your time? Is it worth your money and all that kind of stuff? Now, obviously, probably most of these cars have no papers and stuff like that. And that's probably why they're sitting like that. All their owners, you know, parked them there and disappeared or you don't really know. Um, but they're definitely all abandoned. And I, I really don't think we're ever going to see them kind of move. And if they do move, they've just gone to the scrapyard. But uh, yeah. I don't know, I'm curious to know, what do you guys think in the comment section? Any of these worth saving to you? Or are they just take what you can get off it that kinda is still valuable and worth something and then just scrap the rest of it? I mean, most of these 180s here are beyond saving in my opinion. At the end of the day, you can fix anything depending on how much time, money and all that you wanna put into it, but so sad to see these. It's just so mind-blowing to me, like in any other country, you know, the farmland, just like this, the ocean is literally right there. On the other side of that Prius is the ocean and abandoned Japanese cars that, you know, if they weren't rusted out, are selling for anywhere from 20, 30, 40, 50 grand, 60 grand for something clean in the, you know, in these chassis now, it's, it's mind-blowing. As much as I hate to say this, but these cars really are becoming super expensive now and uh, yeah, they're, they're really falling into the collector car category and they're out of reach for a lot of us now. I mean, they're out of reach, people like me and people like Cap and yeah. it's just what it is and that's why I think like we're so interested and intrigued to know what happened to these cars, why they're here, you know? I mean, go back like what? 10 years, 10 these years things ago. weren't even worth like a hundred bucks. I think that's why a lot of them are just sitting here. That's right, yeah. Nobody and now, yeah. now it's like, oh, hey, these cars that a long time ago, you couldn't even pay someone to pick up and recycle them for you. Like, you know, no one would even take them even if you offered them money. Now, all of a sudden, these parts are worth hundreds and thousands of dollars. Like that engine drivetrain, you can't even buy a blown up SR20 on Yahoo Auctions right now for less than three grand. Wow. A blown up, spun bearings, like it's, it's crazy. So, yeah, I don't know. Somebody Guys, make a time machine. Yeah, we need a time machine, Somebody like for real. Machine. If only, right? If only, you know, if only I could go back and buy Bitcoin. If only I could go back and buy a, hun a yard like this and a hun couple hundred, you know, chases that were worth. Chases, dude. You could buy a whole chaser and a Cresto with a 1J, automatic, a grand. And then you'd buy an R154 back then, a used R154 with a manual swap for, you know, 1500 bucks or a thousand dollars or if you had a friend 600 bucks you know what i mean like what ifs you know it's all what ifs at the end of the day and well, like cap said if only we had a time machine right if only we could go back and get what was that magazine and back to the future the amico i don't oh. know what it was called but <laughs> you know what i mean we yeah. do the whole biff thing but anyways guys i'm curious to know what you think what do you think about these cars um i gotta say a massive shout out and a thank you to cap for once again uh you know, being my chauffeur, yeah, driving me knows. around here in Okinawa, showing me these cool places, like, it's just, it's so mind-blowing. It's cool. I love, I love sharing it with other people yeah. and, you know. And like, this stuff does exist in the mainland. It is obviously a lot more scarce. It's a lot harder to find this kind of stuff over in mainland Japan, but yeah, it's still mind-blowing to see this kind of thing here. The surface for Okinawa. Yeah, this is only scratching the iceberg, like the, the surface and the tip of the iceberg, so. Anyways, guys, with that, 
thank you for watching. Smash that like button, write me a comment. Like I said, I'm curious to know your thoughts on these cars and everything you've seen in this video. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out. Jamata. Thank mm -hmm. you.